Hey, Rolettes and Rollers, it's me, your girl, Anita, and I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. And today we are going to be hanging up my family portrait gallery wall in this hallway you see above. Um, right here, you see the layout of my frames. And what I'm going to be doing is hanging some pictures portrait and some pictures landscape. That's why you see me laying them out before we put them up on the wall. Now, you know I can do a project like this without the help of my handy dandy assistant, aka my husband, Lonnie. We're actually going to be hanging these pictures with nails we're not using command strips because they do sometimes have a tendency to fall and I didn't want anyone getting hit in the head by a picture frame so that's what we're doing here so right here you see I'm using my pendant light as a guide for centering my gallery wall so that's what we're doing here and then we're just gonna work our way out so let's go ahead and get to work and in case you were wondering where I got the frames from, they are from Target, AKA Target. So just so you guys know um, what we did to make sure that these pictures were centered, like I said, we used the pendant light as a center point for the top frame, but then I used the measuring tape and of course the level to measure out. I've done two inches on each side and two inches below each picture. That way they are evenly spaced and we know that they are um, all even all around. Now I know you're probably looking at this saying, mm, I don't know, that doesn't look right. But trust me, when it's done, it's going to look really, really good. And another thing, I didn't put all the pictures in the frames yet because when we started laying out the layout, uh, I didn't have the pictures. So I'm going to have to go order the pictures, which you'll see later in the video. But I wanted to get the frames up just so I have them, um, just so it'd be easy for me to just take them down, put the pictures in the frames, and then put them back up. And here I'm just checking the spacing to make sure that they're two inches to the left and two inches to the right. And if you're wondering what the paint color is, it's Sherwin-Williams China Doll. I usually get asked that in all of my Decorate With Me videos, so I'm just putting it out there. The paint color is Sherwin-Williams China Doll. Now I know a lot of you may not be big on like putting holes in the wall, but that's okay. Like to us, it's not that big of a deal. That's why they make spackle because you can just fill the holes in if you need to. But I do feel that hanging them with the nails is much more, like I said before in the video, it's much more sturdier than hanging them with command strips because they don't always prove to be reliable. They are good, but sometimes that stuff will fall off the wall. And I am going to be doing four rows. You'll see um, two rows like the one up top and then two rows like the one just below it. So there'll be 12 photos in all. So how have you guys been holding up during this quarantine? Have you been getting projects done around your house? Have you just been chilling, relaxing? Have you been stressing? What's going on with you guys? Comment down below and let me know how you've been handling this stay at home period because I'm interested to know and yes, I do care. <laughs> And you guys, one of the next projects we're going to be doing is st standing these railings. We have all the supplies. We just have to get motivated to do the work. And the reason you guys see me going up and down the stairs is because I'm going back and forth to get visuals from the different angles in the house. So I'm going down to see what it looks like from the bottom of the stairs. And then I'm going up to see what it looks like from the top of the stairs. Just to make sure it looks the way that um, I had envisioned it to. It's so funny because when you want to do things like this, it seems so simple. Oh, I'll just do a portrait family gallery wall. But then when it gets to hanging up the pictures, planning out the spacing, it's a lot more work than what it seems. If you want it to look even. <laughs> And I don't know why I keep calling it a family portrait gallery wall. It's just a family photo wall because I didn't want to do portraits. I wanted to do like random pictures from different things that we've done together, different places that we've been, those type of things. Just not anything too formal, just, you know, casual pictures that we really like a lot or that I thought would look good. So that's what I put together. We actually had a gallery wall up here before we had everything repainted. And that was more so pictures of the kids when they were younger. But now that they're older, I wanted to change it and I just wanted everything to look a little more organized and put together so this is what it's looking like so far with the three rows of three however I am going to add a fourth row but I only had one more frame left so I do need to go get two more rows but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it's looking like so far from that view and this is what it looks like from my family room and now we're stopping at Target just so I can get the last two frames that I need and then we should be good to go 
I also want you guys to know that these frames were purchased way before Corona, uh, the coronavirus broke out. So don't think I was in the store shopping for home decor because I know your girl's not doing all that. And so this is what it looks like with all 12 of the frames up. So now I just need to go on to Costco because I get all my photos from Costco. I had already edited the photos. I had just uploaded them to Costco and now I just need to have them printed. I always get my photos uh, printed from Costco because it's very inexpensive and no this is not sponsored that's just where I get them from but here's some of the photos that I chose I'm not using all of these I actually printed more than what I'm actually going to use because I wasn't sure which ones I was gonna choose but yes so here's some of the photos that I'm thinking about using some of them I will use some of them I won't and then some you will see that um I ended up adding later but yes yeah, so let's go ahead and get these pictures up And the next thing I have to do is just frame the pictures and I'm just gonna hold the picture in place by using some scotch tape and you guys please ignore my struggle nails. I'm gonna take them off, but yeah, ignore them. <laughs> So here's a look at my old gallery wall before any painting or anything was done. And then here's a look at the new one. And I have to say that I'm really pleased with how this turned out. But you guys know what I always say. Some of you are going to like it. Some of you will not. But that's okay because we absolutely love it. I also have to give a shout out to my handy dandy assistant, my husband Lonnie. Thank you so much, Lonnie, for always helping me out on these projects. Also, if you're new to the channel, I just want to say, hey, y'all. Hey, I'm Anita. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the family. To all my returning subscribers, you guys know how I feel about y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know y'all mean the world to me. And if you happen to be stopping by and you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and become part of the family. Also, don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that I upload. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for rolling with your girl. I love y'all and I will see you in my next video. Be safe and God bless. Bye.